All right, what is going on, everyone? Mystic Magic here, and welcome back to Neopets: The Darkest Fairy. All right, so last time we finally got into the Wereloop Burrows, and now we're actually gonna go fight the Wereloop King. Ooh, this is gonna be a pretty cool boss fight. So let's go right into the abyss. <laughs> Well, well, well. What have we here? Looks like some fresh meat. Hello, meat. Anyone here know what we do with meat? Skew them! Boil them! Stick them on a skewer and roast them over an open fire! You're that morsel from Innocent's Glade, aren't you? Well... Looks like we're having two for dinner. But let's do a little tenderizing first. Okay, let's so uh, we're the king. I'm actually using the wrong gear in the cutscene. The cutscene's a little weird. He's actually using gear that uh, I'm planning to get later. He's just a big meat guy. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and chug a potion of strength real quick. Just to kind of smack him for a little more. And actually, I can switch over to the... Uh, Stronger versions of the modes. I think water would be fun here. It's actually really easy to get water modes, so it is. Oh, that's weird. Jump attack. Okay, I think it's phases. Text sucks, the whole like shockwave thing. Oh, I got him. I actually hit him that time. I'm actually one level behind with the weapon, so I don't mind cheesing it with some healing items. I did anything. Very right, nice getting mad. I don't even know what that did. That weird zoom attack he did earlier. Okay, Look, Thor. I need to shockwave a lot more. Come on, Dick. Maybe I did like a flurry attack. I think of all the like the smacking type bosses where you just like go for them, he's probably one of the better ones. Oops. I just tried to get out of there. Because the world is like gonna attack for him. Ooh. Almost got him. He's dying, he's dying. Where'd he go? I'm just kind of flurry attacking him now. Oops, let me just 
Okay, let's do something quick. He's way more interesting than the Narcus right there, for sure. Ooh, I almost got it. There we go, got it. Yeah. beat him. Oh, that was a rough fight. Mostly because I was using underleveled items. Right, really, he should he should be using the upgraded uh, knight armor and the Krillian sword. The only thing is that you can't get those until you get to cog him again. So that's probably what we're gonna do next is actually get that gear. All right. So to actually get out of here, you need to jump through the water right here. And now she took us back there. Which, if you remember, that's where the tentacles and the treasure was. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, that was a pretty rough fight. Poor Tor was getting hammered. That's a sign that we have to get a uh, better gear. I know we can get at least the sword, but the armor is one that... Technically, Tor shouldn't even be getting it, based on the story, but... I don't know. Um, because of the way you get the armor. But then again, I think the cutscenes don't necessarily match up with uh, oops, the actual armor that you get in the game based on like the story order, like the way I'm doing it. Also, I went the wrong way. So yeah, use your map, just backtrack your way up. It's a little bit different. Technically, you haven't been to cog him yet, so... I think you do after this, so for sure. Like, for sure you're gonna get it after this. The Creluder... The Creludorian Blade... You were actually supposed to get... Uh, you can actually get it now. I think I probably should have gotten it anyways. I was pretty close to that area anyways, so... Uh, let's just get out of here. No point in fighting any of them. Unless you want, like, nail points or something, I don't know. Uh, I can, eh, I don't need that. I, I say that now and I watch the game crash, huh? I'm gonna be like, really? It's this way. We need to get up. Kind of backtracking here. Hop. Ah, toe, come on, toe. Let's see, uh, it's over here. I'm also making sure I got all the treasures as well. I think I did. Uh, straight this way. So where that torch is. to get his new armor because I I'm not a huge fan of this particular armor set. Like aesthetically wise I it just it's just not my favorite. Ugh. Alright let's go I'm gonna go up to here Make sure you do get everything before you leave this place, because once you do, you will never be able to return. This is why the treasures in here are standalone. Like, there's no other extra treasure maps to take here. Oops. Okay, let's... Okay, here we go. Right on through. Yep, and it's closed now forever. Man, that animation looks so cool. And the sound effect was a little off, but that's okay. 
All right, gonna save and there we go. We beat the Whirloop King. Oof, that was a fight with underleveled gear. Woo! Can you imagine if you like play through the game using only the Squire sword? Because I think that's the bare minimum sword you get. I think at, at some point though you will get an automatic upgrade, but yeah, you can play this game all the, like almost the whole way with the Squire sword. It's gonna suck, but it's not impossible, I guess. Okay, real quick before we leave, we're gonna go ahead and talk to Sophie real quick, just to pop in and say hello. Also grab that golden, sweet, sweet golden grass. She does say something after you beat the Whale of King. That sweet, sweet grass. Ugh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. And maybe I'll get a break from all the howling. <laughs> yeah. So she's pretty good. She's pretty chill about it. She's a pretty like chill character. She's actually quite popular, I think, in the among the fans. For for good reason. She's a cool character. Alright, let's let's go on, let's get going. Actually what I haven't shown you guys is the items, actually the key items. Well, so far I still have the chest key that my dad gave us. Uh, or Tor's dad, I mean. Uh, that's the mine key. We're gonna be using that in a little bit. The letters, we use that in a little bit too. The bottle fairy dust, Roberta got, and also Ellison's charm. This should revive the sleeping Ellison, hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, and actually, uh, an oil. If you remember, we actually have a quest where a little girl wanted an oil over in Brightvale. So let's go ahead and take this little guy with us. I'm going to be feeding it the purple juppies because that's the least useful. I can still attack when I have HP, but I can't attack if I have no HP. If that makes any sense. I'll probably just run over there real quick just to drop it off for her. I think now is a good time to chug a Mirka Speed Potion too. Let me just run out here real quick. So there wasn't there weren't any purple clouds over where Loop Woods anyways, so that's why I didn't really do anything. Let me feed the little guy real quick. Okay, let me go chug a mucus speed. Ooh, and here we go. Off to the races. This is why this thing is so good. Speedrunners love it. It feels like he's going a fast... <laughs> Not even the Noil, like, stuttering to catch up. It feels like he's going in... Like I'm fast forwarding the game, but I'm not. It's, this is actually how the potion works. Can you imagine if I use the potion and then I fast forward that? That'd be hilarious. I wonder how fast would we go. Let's go to Wii. So fast. Let's see, can I make it all of the way? I feel like it's gonna wear out soon. Can I make it? Can I make it? Bolt straight there. Somebody should make a mod, but it's just this. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. That was still pretty good. Oh, I love that. Let's hoard all the Mirka Speed Potions. Okay, so let's go ahead and give the Noil to the little kid. She should be around here somewhere. I think she's over. Yeah, she's like over here. There's a doggo fox right there. Noil. Is that this kid? I think it's this kid. There we go. Yeah, now you're lucky. Aww. And she has a pet Noil. Yeah, so now the little Noil is gonna be with her forever. Or actually. Oh, well, I guess it's just gonna follow me now. <laughs> Let's just pretend it's with her. 
Now, if I remember correctly, you can actually talk to King Hagen and he'll actually have some new dialogue for you. Yeah, they'll actually acknowledge that you are getting rid of the, the purple clouds. Yeah, so after you beat the swamp, hmm. right, uh, everybody will be like, oh my god, you did the thing! <laughs> You're gonna be super happy. Let's go talk to the king super quick, just because we're here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so some of the clouds are gone. I'm pretty sure, like, some people would never have thought to come back and check this. But yeah, this is actually pretty cool to just check out. All the differences that they see. Yay! Yeah, so they all kind of acknowledge that. And Hagen will actually give you a little bit more advice, actually. Let's see. You have Illison's charm. Yeah, he's the only one who'll say, like, oh my god, Illison's charm. Okay, yeah, he's gonna be like, oh my god, get Illison's charm over there now. Come on, go. All right. So let's run over to Illison's glade. I'm probably gonna fast forward this part just because it is just me running. So, yeah, just enjoy fast forward tour without the Mirka Speed Potion. Okay, now we're back in Nillison's Glade. Hope you enjoyed Tor and Roberta running really fast. I realized I probably should have been cutting grass. Uh, I was trying to use Roberta to go faster, but then I was like, wait, I should probably cut some jumpies. So I switched to Tor. Okay, let's go. Let's see if we can try to avoid the monsters if we can. It's so annoying. That's a chocolate toast. Nice. So good, very maze-like. The music is not playing again. Thank you, music, for being so helpful. Which sucks, because it has a really nice theme. It's just the music's not playing again. If you're encountering that in your own playthrough, just save and reset the game. That's it. It tends to always fix it. The other thing you can do is run straight back to Brightvale. And that tends to fix it, uh, but uh, you really want to run all the way back there. Plus, it doesn't always last. Because it, it's like resets the music or something, but yeah. Okay, if you remember correctly, the lift was over to the right. So let's go. We don't have to do the ground stuff anymore, just go straight to the lift. Which actually, does it even say that? No. But just go straight to the lift. That's where you need to go, anyways. Well, let's see if I can get some. Anything here? Nope. Ow. That hurt. Okay, let's see. I think the lift was up here. Ugh. Nope, cutscene. Sorry. This lift is out of service. You! You! Come down here and fight! Not really worth the trouble. 
You can't get up here. You don't have any way to awaken the fairy. Why don't you run off and play until you grow big enough to be an actual threat? Just you wi- If you want to play those kind of games, you might as well give up right now. You have no hope of beating me. No, just watch us! Oh, good. It wouldn't be quite as much fun if you gave up. I'll see you later, then. Okay, so basically we don't have a way to get up. So we're gonna have to go talk to Tor's dad to get some help to do this. Okay, so actually what we're gonna do is, because right now I think we are supposed to get the weapon upgrades for Tor, and it looks like Roberta gets the new robes. I know exactly where those robes are too. Uh, we're probably gonna focus on getting those right now. So to get the sword, we're gonna have to go to Cogham. That's where the uh, that's where it is. To in order to do the quest, and then his armor upgrade is also in Cogham, and I believe Roberta's robe upgrade is also in. Cogham. So let's get going. Let's see. I'm probably gonna run to cog him first and then we're gonna, gonna go ahead and stop the stream just so um, I can just continue on with a different video before it gets too long. I don't want to make it too long for you guys. Let's go. Interesting that the next shop isn't open. Hmm. Right? And that nobody's there. Presumably they fled. Right? Right? Yeah, it bothers me that there's one more treasure that's missing. It's like, where's the map? Hopefully we can get the map soon. Out here. Nope, not yet. I'm trying to see if there's any missing treasures. I'm probably not going to grab anything out here just because it's very, uh, destructive right now. Uh, stop it, stop it, please. See if I can get that treasure, though. Be nice to get the treasure. Also, this fire effect doesn't actually burn you. It's just fire. And Tor. <laughs> or whoever. Oh, sorry, Nick. Nice. Awesome. That's exactly what Roberta needs. Whoa. <laughs> that huge ball of light. Okay, so now normally to get to Merida we go over there, but we can't because of the wall, so we're gonna go that way. Through Hogham. So this is through the... Uh, uh, this area here. The steps. We actually went through here before. We just didn't um, go all the way through, I think. It through this way. Oh no. Oh, artillery. Oh. These guys suck. There we go. They shoot fast and they ram you. I'm on fire. Yep. Okay, so we're right here. Call him steps right here. Okay. Remember we got chased by Dragon X here? Yeah, I think it's all corrupted. Oh, the music's playing now. Nice. If you like the music for this game, there's actually people who have ripped the soundtrack. Let's see if we can go... Oh, I remember there's a safe spot here. We can actually go talk to the... Hunter. Then talk to him real quick. Let's see if he has any dialogue changes. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's it. Hmm. Hmm. He sounds like a villager from Minecraft. Okay. Gotta go ahead and save here. <coughs> so I hope you guys are enjoying that. I kept that kind of short just so it's not too long. But anyways, um, the next episode we're gonna go ahead and check out Cogham.
just because I feel like that would be the next area to go. I'm probably gonna get the sword, uh, the Crelutarian metal stuff, and then get the sword. Uh, that's gonna require a lot of running back and forth, so that's probably gonna be sped up too, just like this video. So, yeah. Keep an eye out for that. Right. So, yep. And if you guys have any comments or anything like that, feel free to leave them down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.